Hello everybody! Today we're going to do a Pixie Tails tutorial on hand hooping. Hand hooping. What you're going to need is your hula hoop, your body, some water, as well as space because you're using a hula hoop. Let me just uh, find my chi. First thing I'm going to teach you is about a plane. Planes are paths your hula hoop can go to create patterns. It's kind of like a box. You'll want your hula hoops to stay on these planes while you're hooping to keep balance and to keep the patterns right. So first we're going to be in this front plane. For hand hooping, and this is what you want your hand to look like in the beginning. I think you're shaking someone's hand, but a little more firm, tight together, fingers tight, and thumb straight. And when you're putting your hoop on, you'll put it right in the circle of your thumb and hand. And how I'm going to teach you this is I'm going to have you grip your hoop. So now your fingers are also facing up. And what I want you to do is in one motion, spin your hoop to the side while holding it. And when you get to the bottom, the opposite position, now your hula hoop is up and your fingers are pointed down. When you get there, release and grab again. So you're going to be starting with this. Spin, release, grab. Now, after you've practiced that a few times, I want you to, instead of gripping again, to give your hula hoop just a little push to keep the spin going. And you can exaggerate it as much as you need to, but you want to minimize it. Continuing the rhythm. And then, after you get that down, your opposite hand. you practice both hands, I want you to practice both directions. So use your thumb to stop your hoop and go in the opposite direction. Using your different fingers, your thumb and your fingers, will help you gain control over the hula hoop. Before I go, I want you to explore your planes with your hoop. So that means front, side, other side, behind the back, over your head. Underneath. And so when you're following the planes, your hand will keep the same position, but it will change depending on which plane you're on. Now, after you get that down, you can start adding in shapes. All different things. And then you get into isolations. Those are getting a little more complicated, and I'll cover those in the next video. Share with you, all of you.